Rubberized asphalt's not new to ADOT. We've been doing it for approximately 20 years. We started primarily statewide on top of asphalt pavements, and it was done because it has a number of things that are real positive benefits for us. The beauty of it is it has really good durability. It also provides a smooth ride, which is what the motoring public is really, that's what they really like. There's some indication that it helps with the heat island effect. During the day, it'll get warmer because it's darker, but it cools off faster at night than the regular concrete pavement. And to give you an idea of what we're talking about in the noise reduction, you can stand next to a roadway that doesn't have asphalt rubber and don't have a conversation, you have to shout into someone's ear. If you stand next to a freeway, they're going freeway speed with asphalt rubber, you're better able to have a no normal tone conversation. Asphalt rubber is much more sensitive to temperature in terms of having good construction. Our specifications stipulate that you want to have at least a surface temperature of 85 degrees. So in the Phoenix area, we have a split season. So we start March 15th through the end of May, and then we open it up again August 15th to the end of October. Now when you get higher elevation, because that's what controls temperature in Arizona, then the seasons can be different and they don't have the split season. So they pave through the summer. And at the highest elevations, they have the shortest season. We've used a lot of tires. and. For us, that's a secondary thing. That's not our primary. We do it because we think it's value added. 